So first go to Chrome driver, web driver download in Google and uh, just click the first result and then we'll just download the latest release. You could also use something else like Firefox or Phantom JS, but personally I like this. I think it has the best developer tools. So just extract that onto the desktop for instance and then the next thing we're going to need is a Selenium module for Python. So go pip install Selenium. I'm assuming you already have pip and Python installed here, so if you don't that's a whole other thing. Then we're going to open the idle Python IDE and we're going to go from Selenium import web driver. And then we're just going to get the Chrome driver path and fun fact you can go shift right click copy as path and I'll give you the path name. And this needs to be raw because of the backslash escape characters. So just prepend it with an R. Then we're going to go the driver is webdriver.chrome and then we're going to pass that Chrome path to it. And that'll open up a Chrome window but it won't populate it with, with anything until we do the next line. So here we're going to go driver.get and just for an example website we'll do uh, vancouver.craigslist.com which is where I'm from. And you can see it sends us to that website. So let's say here I want to write or I want to click the electronics link. Now what I could do, I'm going to do is I'm going to open the Chrome Developer Tools by going Inspect Element and then I'm going to Inspect Element on that again. And you can see it doesn't really have any unique characteristics like an ID or anything. This is where HTML skills would come in handy by the way, but what we can do instead is we can copy XPath and then we can just go driver uh, dot find element by XPath and then we just pass that XPath to it and it needs to be triple quoted because sometimes XPaths have quotes in them and then we can simulate a click by calling the click method and you can see it simulated clicking that link and now let's say we want to list all the items listed here what we can do is again open developer tools and right click and you can see that these are probably all going to have a class header link as you can see there so what we're going to do is we're going to get all the elements of that class and list them so we're going to put it in a variable called posts so posts equals driver dot find elements note it's pluralized by class name header link and you can see it finish that and now we can probably just print all those out. So for post and posts print post.text and you can see this is going to list all those items and so for instance you can make this a script that runs every day and lists things below a certain price or containing certain keywords and let's say you know sends an email automatically that's the fun of scripting so have fun that's the basic idea.